Well, I think one of the things with fluid flows, it's all around us. We, we live in an atmosphere, we rely on it for life. And so the way pollutants disperse, all of these particular things, they're all related to fluid mechanics. But even within our own bodies, the way the blood flows, the way air exchanges, COVID, about how do, how do viruses transmit from one person to another, you know, through airborne. Um, so all of those sort of problems rely on understanding those type of complex flow patterns. So it becomes a very, very broad area of application very quickly. The outlook of machine learning is very promising as a tool because of these complexities we can try to uh, speed up the process and we can reduce the computational time. In the 80s we have been doing this, I have done uh, neural networks, in fact we programmed it in Fortran. This one paper where it uses uh, in flood prediction this observed uh, water uh, depths for several storms then you train the model. Hopefully the use of ocean circulation models together with machine learning could help us in extracting the signals from tectonic processes more easily moving forward. And so really it's about how uh, AI gives us the opportunity to develop tools that help us search that complex space and navigate that space in order to get to solutions quicker. Doesn't mean we fully understand them, but it's, um, it, it's a way of, rather than just having many people trying things, trial and error, it's a way of very quickly converging on known solutions. So I think it's uh, exciting times ahead.